In this tutorial, I just want to spend a little bit of time looking at how we can import the various Java projects for this course Spring 101 Part 1. As you can see here, I've got the Spring 101 Part 1 master zip file that I've downloaded. And what I want to do is extract that. And I'm going to use a tool called WinRAR to do that. Although you can use WinZip as an alternative. So if we select that file and do extract here, you can see it creates a new folder with the same name as the zip file. And inside that we have the various Java projects that are used throughout this course. So how do we go from having these on our hard drive to being imported within our Spring Tool Suite? Well, let's go across to Spring Tool Suite and I'll show. The project samples I use on this course are basically dependent on Maven as the build tool. And I'll give you just enough Maven to get you by for now. But if you'd like to know more about Maven, I also have a Maven 101 course, and that's available on the denofprogramming.com forward slash courses. But for now, we can just do under Package Explorer, right click and do an import with three dots. And if we scroll down the menu options to the Maven option, and then select Existing Maven Projects, and select Next. We then come up with a root directory, and that needs to point to where we extracted our zip file to. So let's browse that. And I extracted here into Spring 101. So select that. And you see that the Maven plugin for Spring Tool Suite has kicked into action here, and it's found all the various POM files for each project, and then it will import each of those projects for us. Now, if you're not sure what a POM file is, I'd just like to reference you to some of the free tutorials I have on Maven, and also on the Maven 101 course. So we can select Next, and we've got a dependency on the Maven compiler plugin as well, and hit Finish. Now, what I also like to do is select the projects, and do a right click, Maven, update project with three dots. Make sure everything's selected here and hit OK. As you can see, Maven does a little bit of downloading and initialization. And our projects are ready to use. So if we go to the source main Java com .den of programming client, and we can just do a right click, run as hello world. If you want to build this using Maven, it's easy. You just go to run as Maven build with three dots. Just type in clean install. And we have a build successful. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how Maven works here. But I just wanted to show you how easy it was to get the zip file with the projects in, extract it, and import it into Spring Tool Suite. And now we've built the project, we can just do a right click, run as, Java application, and it just prints up Hello World. Now I'd also like to mention that the code base here is also held on my repository within GitHub. So let's go over to GitHub and I'll show you. Go to github.com forward slash den of programming. All the code for all the courses I'm doing are held here in what's called a repository or a number of repositories. And the Spring 101 Part 1 is also available here. Now you can download the zip file from this location or you can actually do a clone and create, set up your own repository within Spring Tool Suite. Now if you'd like to do that, and you'd like to know more about how to interact with Git within Spring Tool Suite, you can take a look at one of my free tutorials on using eGit within Eclipse. And Spring Tool Suite also uses eGit. So if you'd like to see that, just head over to the denofprogramming.com forward slash YouTube. And what you'll see there are some of the free tutorials I provide. And one of them is discover how to import Java projects from GitHub into Eclipse-based IDE. 
Now Spring Tool Suite is an Eclipse based IDE, so this is just as relevant for Spring Tool Suite as it is for plain Eclipse. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to have a look at the projects and just give you a brief walkthrough as to what each project is and how they work and what they're about. <laughs>